Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. I want to invite you to close your eyes for a second. Imagine yourself on a medieval battlefield of 1521. The smoke from cannonballs recently fired is hovering in the air. You can feel your heart racing in your chest with the thrill of the battle. The mud has made its way onto your boots, and there's no avoiding the sloshing sensation. You've been dreaming of this moment since you were little, growing into the noble you are. You will finally get to fight like the brave knights of Camelot. What do you smell? What do you hear? You hold your cold sword in your hand, just as you are about to run towards your enemy during another siege in Pampaluna, when you suddenly feel a deep vibration in the earth and are thrown to the ground violently. There's a sharp ringing in your ear, as what you can only guess is from a cannonball explosion. You can feel the sweat dripping down your forehead as you try to regain your senses. Soldiers around you are either uncomfortably silent or crying for help. You try to get up and help them, but your body isn't cooperating. The pain starts to shoot up your leg and into your torso, and you begin to notice darkness creeping into your vision until you see nothing at all. Not knowing how much time has passed, you wake up to find yourself lying on a cot. You can't move your bandaged leg The pain is starting to return, but not as severely as before. The dread starts to set in that you won't be able to fight like the knights in your stories to rescue the damsels like you originally thought you would get to. You feel the restlessness of wanting to fight again, but can't move from your bed. Then you see the books your sister dropped off for you during your recovery. You pick up the first book, seeing the title, The Golden Legend, The Life of Christ. Another book, Lives of the Saints, also sits by your bedside. What does the book feel like? Can you smell the paper? Do you hear any distractions as you dive into the life of Christ? You can open your eyes now. What might have seemed like a tragedy for Ignatius ended up being the call to arms that he needed. Once he recovered, Ignatius hung up his sword and immediately vowed a life of chastity. He went on to develop Ignatian spirituality, powerful forms of meditative and contemplative prayer. One of those forms of prayer is imaginative prayer. That's what we just did. We put ourselves into the story of St. Ignatius to see God through the narrative using all of our senses. You can also do this with a Bible passage or the life of another saint. I encourage you to try it on your own. Ignatius went on to live a life of contemplation, pilgrimaging to the Holy Land, and eventually ended up in passing away in Rome after founding the Jesuit order. One of the three most well-known orders was St. Peter Faber and Francis Xavier. This Spanish noble who dreamed of becoming a knight came to be known as the Superior General of the Jesuit Order. May his drastic conversion show us that the desire of this world can't even compare to the marvels God has in store for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us.